Hi, I'm Steve Butler with uh, Emily Arena. I'm with the Facility Engineering Department. My main goals are to monitor HVAC, energy management, lighting, and electrical. Being in NHL Arena, our, our main objective on game days is to make sure our temperatures and humidities are, are right where we need to be for uh, ice conditions. Now, heat load going from an empty building to having 20,000 people here in the building, going uh, from that condition, it will spike 10 degrees in within an hour or so. So we try to subcool the building a little bit colder than maybe comfortable uh, so that we can kind of absorb that and still have good conditions for ice quality. The outside weather is pretty important. We do track that and so we can anticipate, okay, well, if it's going to be raining outside, we know we're going to have extra humidity, or if it's going to be uh, really hot outside, we know we have to start cooling the building earlier to, to try to, to battle that. Our electrical usage is the highest for a hockey game. Our game usage usually is in the 65,000 kilowatt hours versus an off day we may be about 25 to 30. A Tesla coil basically is wireless electricity. Basically what the Tesla coils here do, we're, we're using them to create lightning bolts. So what we're doing is taking electricity and trying to make it arc to ground. So we have uh, some transformers that spike up the voltage to where it, it wants to travel. It's looking to find that, uh, that earth ground. That's the, the path that it, it's looking for. It's pretty amazing to watch. It actually jumps through the air and finds that earth ground that it's looking for. On a game day, I think people would be surprised how many hundred folks it takes to uh, pull an event off here and, and have all of our guests blown away by our service and quality of our audio visual, the conditions of the building. 